Welcome to g for g here on YouTube. Today we are taking a look at the newest hero in Hero of the Storm. It's somebody that we've known that's been coming since BlizzCon. And of course, in the last week or two, we were being told that it's going to arrive now. And it is the Necromancer, who is from Diablo 2. Now, I was not a Necromancer main in Diablo 2. It was actually a Paladin main, but I did also branch out and play and necro as a secondary character and uh also a druid so he is right here let's take a look at him in the shop he comes as part of the serpent bundle and he has a store skin that looks like serpentor from the old gi joe and this nifty little cloud serpent kind of looks like uh What's his face from Pokemon? Not Charbok, but uh, Ekans, I guess. Snake spelled backwards. Anyway, I was never a big Pokemon player. My girlfriend would know more about that. So, let's take a look at him. And let's look at his kit. And take a look at his skins first. Looking at the skins, here is his uh, level 1 skin for stock. Here is a secondary color i like this one a lot makes him look kind of vampire-ish with the uh the darkness to the eyebrows and the hair and then finally we have this really cool tattooed version of him kind of a black and red again looks rather vampiric but this one's like a more modern vampire kind of like blade his master skin adds the bone armor to him which is really nice hides his face he gets a hood uh, he gets, I think, Arthas has got a similar color to this on one of his skins. So this is dark with a little bit of lighter accents. This is, uh, very dark base with very light accents. And then this really cool one over here of kind of a dark brown, reddish, and gold. The serpent skins, there's Serpentor. There's greenishy Serpentor. And then finally, you have this kind of uh, very dusty gold color over here. Hard to say. Contrast on the first one is really nice. Alright, so his ability, Spectral Sight, he throws it out. And uh, it's kind of like Artanis' dash, except it's just a sight. It goes out like this, and then it comes back in. And it follows you, so if you do it in a line like this, and then move, it comes back to you this way. So it's um, pretty easy to adjust the course of it. You could throw it out, like say Diablo's coming down the lane at you. You could throw it out and get out of the way so that he can't uh, charge you. It's an interesting mechanic. Cursed Strike. Your basic attacks deal damage in a wide area and reduce the attack speed of enemies by 50% for 2 seconds, last 4 seconds once triggered. So when you see this one in play, it's like Leoric's Skeletal Swing. It's a like a 180 in front of him. And you see the semicircle like that. It absolutely wrecks minions from what I've seen. Bone Prison, after a 2 second delay, deals 80 damage and roots the target hero for 2 seconds. Raise Skeleton, that's his trait. Uh, basically, when nearby enemy minions die, it becomes a skeletal warrior that attacks for 30 damage and lasts up to 15 seconds. He could have four up at once. This, which, uh, this will make him really good in the lane. Uh, there's been some projections that he'll go pretty well with Asmodan. And just imagine seeing Asmodan and him coming down a wave with all these minions at you. Uh, last night... On my Twitch stream, I actually went in on a southern lane on uh, Dragonshire, I think it was. No, Garden of Eternity. And Asmodan and my Sylvanas took down an enemy uh, first level fort in the first minute and a half of game. I mean, I turned it off. He just beamed it crazy. So, uh, he's going to have some fun doing similar things. One of his heroics is Poison Nova, and then the other one is Skeletal Mages. 
Uh, Poison Nova is 90 seconds. After delay, you release poisonous missiles that deal 570 damage to all enemies hit over three, hit over 10 seconds. So it's a it's a 360 poison splash that goes like that. Skeletal of the mages, four frost mages go in a line similar to Tassadar's wall that slows people and attack them as they walk through it. I think it would be really nice to see, and this is going to be, there's going to be some Wamu combos with this one. If you, if your side of the base is here and the enemy is here, and Tassadar drops a force wall right here, and you put skeletal mages here, and they're stuck and have to go through it, think like the center lane on Towers of Doom. Force wall here, skeletal mages here, enemy team stuck in between them. Ah, uh, yeah. It'd be really interesting. Talon, so this is where he gets his Karazim level kind of a thing going on over here. Uh, everything is about bone armor, the first level. Bone armor expires, nearby enemy heroes take damage equal to 50% of their maximum health. Now this says heroes, not everybody. So this might be a little situational. Shackler, when bone armor is active, you slow nearby enemies for 30% by 30% for one second. Or Shade, when bone armor is active, you evade all basic attacks, but increase the cooldown of bone armor by 10 seconds. So, let's see, bone armor isn't actually listed here, so we don't know what the cooldown is on it. I don't know why they didn't do that. Um, I've heard people saying that Backlash is really good if they are dealing with like a double warrior comp, or multiple warrior comp. Shackler is pretty good all the rest of the time. Shade, don't know. Guess maybe if you're facing a lot of dive comp, like Illidan's and everything. Basically, everybody's saying you don't want an Illidan for a while because Illidan's not in a good place and with him around. Yeah. Alright, on the floor, increase Spectral Scythe range by 20%. Seems pretty cool. Pop and Abathur's behind their wall as a surprise. Jailer's Bone Prism... Bone Prison spawns two skeletal warriors that fixate on the enemy for 15 seconds. These do not count towards your raised skeleton max. Try Cool's Essence. Gain 8 mana when you raise a skeletal warrior. Uh, really nice sustain over there. I mean, real varied over here. Uh, the Bone Prison, the Jailers, that sounds interesting. Kind of like uh, Mouse Trees. Or uprooting zombie wall from Dweebo. Harvest Vitality. Curse Strike heals you for 66 for each hero hit. Like that. Weaken. Increases Curse Strike's attack speed slow from 50. Wow. So again, probably really situational. Weaken if you have a lot of uh, normal attack heroes like your Rainers, your Volus, things like that. Rothamus Blessing. Raises Skin Little Warrior. Heals you for 66. Wow, two Healy types all in the same tier. Interesting. Uh, I kind of like... Wow, that's going to be a tough one. It's a tough one to pick. Boys and Nova scale little mages. Decrepify, Spectral Scythe slows, Giant's Curse. Increases Curse Strike's damage to heroes. Corpse Explosion. So I was a little disappointed when I was seeing the information on Zul that he wasn't going to have Corpse Explosion. It was one of the best things about being a Necromancer in Diablo 2. So to see him regain this, and I was kind of disappointed that he didn't have it as part of his kit. Um, definitely happy to see that. Deals 100% increased damage to non-heroic enemies. So it sounds like a lot of late game push. I mean, I haven't seen anything that I really just want to say no to yet everything is situational executioner probably really good if you're specking into the slows and everything so i mean we know this in vala flowing wounds reduce the spectral slice cooldown by four seconds if you hit an enemy hero pretty cool skill shot enemies rooted by bone prison become vulnerable for two seconds very very short-lived uh, that one might not be that good because it's only two seconds, but probably really good if you're going to be fighting in clustered areas like uh, Blackheart's Bay Turn-In or maybe at Tributes and Shrines and everything. 
Skeleton Mastery increases the max skeleton warriors by 6, increases their damage. I think if you know how you're going to want to do the whole kit, it'd be better. Because, I mean, if you have 6 corpse exploding skeletons, um, that's going to be really, really good. And the race skeletons heal you, and you're going to have 6 of them. I think you have to know what you want to do. It would suck to, you know, do certain talents up here and then abandon them later on. So I think you need a plan when you go into matches with him. Call the Grave. Poison Nova deals an additional 1% of the target's maximum life as damage every second. Raised Mage. When a nearby enemy hero dies, a Frost Mage appears from their corpse to fight for you. Also increases the slow. So sounds like this could be really good if you got a Li Ming on your team. Or maybe a triple attack resetting Nova. Um, really cool. Spectral Scythe reduces healing taken. Again, situational if they have a healer. Uh, this may be good. If not, probably not. Also maybe basic attack uh, vampire healers like Rainer. Bone Spear deals 260 damage to enemies in a line. So you actually get a new ability. Uh, very interesting. So he's going to be very, very situational here. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Try to get into a match with him. Uh, I did get the bundle. But I'm going to go in with his stock skin first, but his mount. So we will pause the video until I get into the match, which may take a while. Somebody said it was like 700 seconds, but price we pay for getting these videos out on YouTube. So, I'll be right back with Zool. Alright, so, we're dropping into a match against a Thrall, Hammer, Butcher, Jada, and another Zool. I'm on Zool, and I'm joined by a old friend of mine from Vanilla WoW days, Shieldzy, or Shielden. He is on Sylvanas. We have a Kerrigan, a Butcher, and a Tychus. So neither side has a healer. We have two Siege. They have two Siege. We both have Butchers. We have a Tychus and a Kerrigan compared to their Thrall, Jaina. So I've heard that Mages are a bit of a counter to Zul. Their Thrall, not really so much dive comp over there, but, well, Butcher can be dive. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Since I have a Sylvanas on my team, I think I will go a more uh, offensive build than a push build. So I think I will go ahead and start off by doing the Slowing Armor. And I'll go with Tychus. Go in a separate lane from Sylvanas. And his dance, by the way, is uh, quite hysterical. He just sits there and leaves his top in place. And just dances from the bottom down. So be prepared. His bone armor is on the one, so you're going to need more than just the standard... Uh, set up over here. So there's Jaina in my lane, which is unfortunate. Nice. Landed that uh, early bone armor on the butcher and he's retreating, which is pretty cool. Got good range on fortification, so Jaina poked me. I'm gonna slither, slither my way back home. Jane is going to be a bit of a, uh, a pretty decent counter over here. 
But it looks like I've got some decent splash on that site. As soon as I come up with a stun, root him in place. Yeah. Tyke is really needed to not have abandoned bottom like that. Semi decent start, of course, ruined by the Jaina. Ah, I saw a scythe coming down here. It's hard for me to really wage in here and take out these dudes and see what Sweeping Strikes is like because of the presence of Jaina over there. Uh, I think I'll go with the range. Allow me to compete with her a bit. So I didn't really get hit by the blizzard too much and I was able to out damage her in that exchange. Still can't really find anything to swipe at yet. Nice. Dismounted her and did damage. Got out before she did anything to me. Middle lane's looking good. Nothing really to help out with up there. So go back to the bottom. Got a pretty good lick on the butcher. Going to stay away from the south. Because of that, new Jaina would come in. On somebody, see what's happening here. Rotate, Tychus. Fucking pay attention, people. Jesus Christ. Doing pretty good hero damage. Siege damage is a little behind my buddy playing the Sylvanas. Curse strike against heroes heals you. Gonna need that. Don't like the two deaths though. That's definitely obnoxious. Good thing is we get some... Wow, he rips that up. Yeah, and that scythe, especially with the increased range, really gives some nice vision into the base. The ability to smack that well from the wall is pretty cool. Playing it safe here, gonna respect that Jaina gank, because she's not visible on the map. There's the enemy hammer. We get bone armor up. Lit that hammer a little bit there, good. The butcher got the uh the orb that helps. See what kind of damage we can do. Can't get a hammer at her range though, unfortunately. Could probably go in and get a bone armor on her, but we're leaving that. Oh, I've got some revenge to get on this guy. Awesome. So we're probably going to pick Skeletal Mages for this. Uh, I'll pick that at 10 and then we will pause it 
until we get to some of the later game talents. Alright, so as I hearth over here, we will be back until closer to 20. So we are back here in the, the late game. Steve isn't doing too well. A butcher is a shit talker and is truly one of the worst butchers I've ever seen. Despite the fact that he has a master skin. He's pretty much spent the entire match being out DPS by specialists. And has done pretty jack squat. Uh, so I've died a horrendous eight times. But... That's partly because of the fact that these guys on the other side have got some dive comp. We did just boss, riskily, kind of. Uh, me and Tychus and Kerrigan went in on it. The boss took out Kerrigan, but we did get the boss, so that pushed up top. And we are losing 100% to 23% on the core over here. But uh, we had a huge wipe during their core push, which was really nice. Hammer's dead. Which is definitely a help. Shuts down a lot of their siege. Lick the thrall there a tiny bit. I'm just respecting the uh, enemy Zul because I don't happen to know his range. Ooh. Yeah, that thrall backed out at the right moment. guy's pushing hard, being a little aggressive despite the fact that we clearly have three people here. Oh, got broke out and stunned. Now it's a race back. Oh boy, this is going to be tight. This is going to be tight. Tight, 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 tight. <laughs> Alright, so he went Poison Nova and I did the Skeletal Mages. Um... The mages have come in handy. They killed a few people that were trying to counter our boss cap over there. Uh, the mages stayed up and killed a few people. So we did get the boss cap. So that's definitely a win. Didn't really have the range on that one. I definitely owe this butcher a few more deaths though. Got the hammer and ripped it through the Jaina, which is nice, but I'm still rooted in the Ring of Frost. If he decides to fire, if she decides to fire a penis missile straight ahead, I'm screwed. So I will just go back to the Nexus. Chill out for a few moments here. Fortunately, the hammer missile is working the core now. Alright, so it looks like middle lane is countered. Gonna wait for that missile to come by. Oh, I got stunned as I was trying to drop the heroic. I think I have a Kerrigan in Venom. I don't think that's Zool on me at the moment. Is that Kerrigan? Oh, I'm sorry. The Kerrigan's on our side. No, it was a Venom from the Thrall. I don't know what I tend to pick a Thrall at that tier. One of my common in Venom ones is Sylvanas. Uh... Had to do a Sylvanas and Venom at that tier. We have to counter the oh, crap. Yeah. 
Our Tychus and Butcher were definitely shit talkers. But the Tychus at least had more of a ground to stand on. So, uh, very long wait time today. Let's take a look at the final tally over here. Diet ate a whopping eight times. Pretty bad. The Butcher was like, oh, I have a diet. Yeah, but the Butcher wasn't doing anything. Uh, if we sort by Siege, I dropped out quite a bit. Was up here in like third or fourth place. Fell down. Hero damage. Uh, this is really bad for our team. That Sylvanas and Zol on our team did the most damage. And then we have the dedicated DPSers in Kerrigan and Butcher and Tychus. Really not good. Total hero kills. Our team was out killed. Uh, 16 assists for me. Was in on a lot of fights. Actually, the enemy Zul died 10 times. So, my final talents were the Shackler, which I don't think came into play too much. The Death Reach, which was really nice. Curse Strike heals you. Didn't come into play much, unfortunately. Uh, Skeletal Mages, Decrepify, which seemed pretty good. Flowing Wounds. And eventually raised mage. So there is a look at Zul. I'm going to join in and get on a second game. But that's it for the video today. Say hi to Pepe everybody. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Have a good one.